I got a confession to make. I'm a weekend warrior. So basically, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, I work a regular job in an office. I commute to the city, um, Washington, D.C. And then on the weekends, I get out, I go hunting, I go fishing, and... You know, I just enjoy the outside. I'm like a lot of guys, you know, just paying the bills to do the things that I love to do. And in those travels, I use a lot of different kinds of watches. Um, And watches are specific to a guy because it's like a lot of times the only piece of jewelry that a guy would wear. So today I want to talk to you guys about my everyday carry watches um, and specifically Casio. Casio has really impressed me throughout the years and it's one of the watches that I stick with um, being on my weekend warrior stuff and every once in a while um, I'll wear it into the office. So let's get to it. So the first watch I want to talk to you guys about is this Rolex. This is the Submariner Date and I bought this just when I was starting a a new job and you know I kind of spoiled myself I saved up for it and I liked it a lot for maybe a month and it's really just sat in the closet collecting dust maybe uh, I'll give it to my son when he gets a little older but right now it's just something nice that I have if I go to a real nice occasion I'll pull it out but pretty much I don't wear it next watch I want to talk to you guys about is the watch that I wear pretty much every day in the office this is the Samsung um, Gear S3 it gives you a lot of different uh, options as far as you know the time and the date it's real practical smart watch charge it up every night next to my bed but you know that's my pretty much my EDC watch as far as going to the office gives me my notifications when my um, co-workers contact me on my cell phone or anything like that I can play my music from it um, pay you know uh, you Samsung pay Um, It's a great watch, but again, this is, you know, something that I use on a weekly basis, going in and out of the office, Eh, put it on with the suit, not the, you know, nothing to really speak about, everybody has them, but yeah, it's a good watch, I really like it, but it's not what, what I'm here to talk about. The first watch I want to talk about out of Casio's line is this one right here. This is the Casio STL S110H. And this watch is a great budget watch. It's $35 on Amazon right now. Um, It's solar, like the title suggested. You're able to dive up to 100 meters. Um, It's water resistant up to 100 meters. And it has a stopwatch that will last 100 hours. It has five daily alarms and supports build. All of these Casio watches have a resin um, build to them. So you got some modes here. You got adjust, mode, start, stop, lap, light, show you the light. It's kind of dim. And a stop. What I really like about the Casios is the huge numbers. That is so important to me. Like when I'm doing anything outside, like I would wear this watch fishing a lot of times. So if I need to be home at a certain time, I just look, glance down huge numbers tells you the date um, and the time and then you got the the date down here at the bottom so this is a great 
budget watch the case is 49 millimeters wide and you know it, it, 35 dollars kind of shows it's got these um little screws on the side if you can see that and you know that kind of shows the band is not the greatest but it will last you a long time for 35 bucks you can't beat it it's a it's a pretty large watch on my wrist i have a huge wrist and my on my wrist it kind of swallows it up it gives it everything um that i need as far as time you won't be mistaken as far as the time at all with this watch it's it's a really really great time and I think that's the main thing for me is like when I look down at a watch, tell me what time it is. That's what I want you to do. Just give me the time. Now, all the other stuff is great, but the time is most important. I want to look down and know exactly what time it is. So you can see this 944 right now when I'm doing this video. But that's the Casio STL-S110H. Tough solar, built rugged, Great little watch, 35 bucks. The next watch I wanna to talk to you about is this twin sensor watch that Casio makes. This one's a little bit more expensive. Let me try to pull it up to the camera. It's got this negative dial to it. Hopefully the camera will focus. And you can see that, you know, it's giving you the date and time no bezel the bezel doesn't move or anything and this one when it says twin sensor and it's got the branding on it right here at the top it says twin sen sensor it gives you the compass if you can see that the compass and the thermometer which is awesome and it's got a mark right here so we push this button right here for the compass and then it gives you compass direction push it again and you can set it. You got a light. And one thing about Casio watches, the light doesn't stay on that long. But it's in this purple and um, orange color, which is really cool. Again, it's resin. Um, you can dive up to about 100 meters with it. It's water resistant. It doesn't not waterproof. It also gives you the world time. So it does give you the world time. The case size is 45 millimeters. And again, it's quartz. It's a quartz build. But this is a great little watch. Again, if you don't want, if you want to step up and get a watch that has actual, um, some, some more technology in it, this twin sensor will do the job. My, my wife got me this for Christmas one year and I use it a lot to go fishing. The colorway might not be what somebody somebody else would like, but I like the colorway. It's cool in the summertime to put on um, when I go out fishing or um, do out some outdoor activities, you know, something, something different I can put on my wrist. And I like the negative dial. It's kind of hard to see sometimes, to be totally honest. It's, it can be hard to see in certain light but it's still a cool watch. And for $39, you can't beat it. That's the Casio SGW100 Twin Sensor. Basically, they just call it the Twin Sensor Watch by Casio. And it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. Great little watch. Next watch is, is a step up. So we're stepping up a, a little bit. And this is probably my favorite watch ever right here. This is the Casio Pathfinder PAG2440 solar watch. All these watches are solar. I, I leave them up in the window to charge and they give me a full battery every time. This watch right here is 51 millimeters wide, so it's it's a pretty large watch. It's the largest watch, largest watch yet at 51 millimeters, and it has you get more technology in this watch. 
and you pay a little bit more it's 125 right now on Amazon but you get the altimeter the barometer the compass um, quartz belt and all of those are marked right here on the side so you get that compass feature that barometer feature and the barometer is actually very accurate as far as predicting weather changes I really like it for that predicting weather changes you can set an alarm on this watch so when if you have a significant weather change up and down now it's not going to tell you if it's going to rain right now as far as an hour but far as a weather change very good let's talk about the altimeter right here and this will get you pretty close as far as your your elevation it's it wouldn't be the first thing I would count on any none of these tools would be my primary tool if I was going out hiking or I was going um, camping and I needed to find you know have a compass this would be not my first compass this would probably be my third or fourth compass that would not be my first um, choice to read barometric pressure it might be maybe my second or third choice you hit the mode button and it takes you back to the standard screen you got you get a light again the lights don't stay on that long and it's got its branding on here so it tells you on the, on the band it's got a compass, thermometer, altimeter, slash barometer. It's tough solar. This bezel, um, this bezel does move. There's some dirt in it from playing in the dirt, but it does move. Um, and so you can set a comp, uh, a, a direction, a heading, um, for your compass. Yeah, pretty cool watch. Like I said, pretty large. You have, you see the inside of it's pretty dirty from where I've been wearing it. But um, if you have a small wrist, this might not be the watch you want, but because it might swallow your wrist up. I have a pretty, I have a pretty large wrist, and it almost swallows my wrist up. But very cool. I like the colors on this watch. Subtle black. I wear this this watch a lot of times when I'm hunting. Um, it's got those two little orange um, buttons in the front, but everything else is pretty subtle, pretty um, toned down. You can see around the edge. It gives you the battery indication down there at the bottom. That's pretty cool. And then the whole uh, surrounding edge is the charging the charging panel for your solar. Pretty cool. If I didn't say um, before, this does world time. This does world time too. So you can you can uh, select those. And all of these watches. Um, I believe these next two watches. This one and the next one I'm going to um, talk about. Uh, have the atomic compass, the atomic time, atomic compass, atomic time, so they will automatically sync to the time. Very cool watch. This one's been beat up a little bit, but I like it. All right, let me get to this next one. I think this was the first one that I bought from Casio. And this is the Casio Pathfinder PAW 1500T, which stands for titanium. So it's very sturdy watch. On the, on the band it says Pathfinder. And this watch gives you so much information. It gives you the moon phase at the top, right there in that corner. It gives you the barometer. And this watch used to go off all the time. Like when it's about to snow, if you can see those little 
blinking um, dots right there, that blinking dot is letting you know that the barometer is dropping. And that uh, uh, tells you that the weather is changing. And guess what? Outside right now, it's raining. <laughs> so it's pretty accurate. And then down here at the bottom, this gives you the tide. Great watch for fishing. So you can set your local tides in here and it will keep the track of the tide for you. This will move, letting you know when high and low tide is. Excellent for fishing in. Highly recommended. I've had this watch probably for four or five years now, maybe even longer than that. Again, altimeter, compass, barometer. This one, this watch will you can you can um, dive up to 200 meters. It has 200 meters of water resistance. Again, on the side, it's got the compass, barometer, altimeter, and this, the readouts are pretty much the same. Huge numbers on these watches, man. That's that's what I love about them. More than anything else, I love look, being able to look down and see that this um, watch has the correct time. And when you flip it back, it gives you this great little um, motion on all of the all of the different um, sensors. So that's your barometer. It's telling you it's dropping. And then if you hit your altimeter, it should come close. And then when you return it back to the, um, the main screen, it gives you that cool motion on all of the sensors. So then on the outside, you can see that the seconds are creeping around. If right there you see it moving down so that's pretty cool this is an awesome little watch now you may not want to spend the four hundred dollars it is right now and i didn't see it on amazon i actually had to go to casio's um casio's website and that's where i found it so maybe they stopped selling it on amazon and then on the back of the cases it's got the pathfinder stamp on it all the other watches really um have this like a regular stamp this one's kind of raised if you can see that you can see, that one's kind of raised it's pretty cool the uh, this watch um on the back the stamp is not it's just kind of just stamped into the metal it's not raised but Again, man, Casio kills it. I mean, from 400, which gives you almost down there everything you can want on a watch, to 125, where you, you might lose just a little bit, down to 39, for you're still getting the compass and the barometer, and then down to 35, where you get the stopwatch. All of these watches are great. I would not hesitate in pulling the trigger on any of these watches, depending on what you want. Now for these two, well, these three that have the, the, uh, the sensors in them, again, guys, remember, do not count on this as your main tool when you go in the woods. But as far as, you know, a backup, excellent. That's all I got, man. Um, love these watches. You know, love them, love them, love them. Uh, sometimes I just roll in the office with this on, even with a suit. You know, I pull it off. I just like the watch so much, I really don't even care. I'll just put this on. So, hey, man, this is George Define. I hope you get something out of this video. I just want to open you guys up to, you know, some of the stuff that's out there for you guys at EDC that might not be not be seeing this stuff or see, can see it in a video or you know it's been out for so long it's kind of been forgotten about but these Casio Pathfinder watches if you don't know at least go check them out in your stores great watches man George Define like comment um, subscribe 
And man, I'll see y'all in the next one. Let me line them up again for y'all. Yeah. Peace.